matchup is that Inkling up throw up air does not work on Pokemon Trainer because they can get out of it with the, the changing mechanic. Yep, for aim one. Yeah. So that kinda that kinda option is gonna be off the table for Inkling, which can kinda mesh up the the sort of risk reward for all their options. Because at a certain percent you're you're gonna be scared to roller and you're gonna be scared to grab because they have the kill confirm. But now once you once you lose that kill confirm, you're no longer afraid of that option. So you can kinda sit in shield versus them at higher percents. He's at 64. Set and and more. And climbing, he's used pretty much back air. Just oh get mixed up, you got grabbed. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. This match has started. What happened? <laughs> uh, Inkling vomits damage as a uh, unappealing as that sounds. But 131 is kind of where they start to f fall apart as a character and or have flaws if you're just a normal person. Uh, they can't kill. Can't kill reliably. They have to read your tech at a, they have to read your uh, ledge get up because they have pretty good ledge trapping catch something raw uh, back air their most prominent tool does not have very good scaling but they do have roller yeah and, roller and that'll do it cool. yeah, but, i mean this, this can apply to every character but once you're outside of the, the throw percent range and you're not at back throw kill range you can kind of sit and shield and not have to worry about roller killing you so like that awkward percentage between like when throws will kill, it's kind of a bad spot for Inkling, but other than that, like, you got good tools. And the little, I've really been liking the splatter shot usage from Little Bro. Let's see. I'm, okay, it kills Ooh. anyway. Okay. Up Smash is stronger, by the way. That, that is her strongest smash attack, but, you know, 131, anything with a little bit of sauce ends up killing. Oh my god, these strings are kind of wild. Please. Yeah. <laughs> You might you might have to play a, a Pokemon that's not Charizard. Yeah, I think part uh -huh. of this a lot of this damage is coming from the fact that Charizard is such a big body and Inkling's just able to get real up close to Charizard and just kinda out frame data him. But even the combo's not true if Charizard tried mashing out, but, oh that's it. You yeah. got a three stock. The little man. bro. Man, that was a uh, that was pretty quick. <laughs> it was yeah. like a minute and a half, two minutes? Uh, I think the timer said five minutes. So Assuming a seven minute timer, that was two minute a two minute game. Yeah, Little Bro was kinda was kinda on something with the amount of pressure that he was putting on. Like it was it was holding forward, but it wasn't it was to working. The, it, it was like he was holding forward, but not to the point where it was like, Oh man, like this is a like this is ridiculous. Like he's just like he's just mashing in his face. There were moments where he would let uh Layson come down with something like land with a neutral air like jump back to lead or jump back onto stage and he just like wait he'd wait for that brief moment and then the mix would start again <laughs> so like, it was just it was just constant it felt like he was constantly in a hitbox and the, it, there's a different type of mentality that goes around of like man I, i'm just in hit stun for like two and a half minutes and then the game was over what happened <laughs> Yeah, I mean, maybe getting a maybe getting a character like Squirtle, like because because I know okay we're going Ooh, Fox. Fox. Yeah, but, uh, Fox with Cloud. I I feel like Fox can also get kind of comboed, but it's kind of a little bit worse off because unlike Charizard, Fox does not have the same survivability in terms of weight and also how like vulnerable their recovery is. I don't know, but maybe with the extra speed, they'll be able to. You know, maybe the best offense is the best defense. Maybe get in on Inkling before they're able to really start anything. Yeah, Inkling can have some trouble, uh, have some struggles with uh, a pressure of her own coming from the opponent. And Fox is quite known to have really good block strings. So like, he has he has that going for him. Like see right there. Like oh, some of Inkling's best tools out of Shield are Nair, which only hit Rising and aren't fast enough to deal with a Fox like running up. Like dash attack into up tilt, or all of these, all of these up airs coming from below stage. Uh, Layson really trying to put on the pressure, put on the damage. Air dodging the platform a little bit too much. Got to be careful. <laughs> You're Fox. You're not like Zard. <laughs> Zard's much heavier and can take that punishment. Fox really can't. But you can see the different type of success. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You know, Lakeson reading that spot dodge, but just getting holding it a little too long, getting clipped by the down smash. <laughs> the China, the berry. It's kind of funny. Yeah, frame six, pretty quick. 
and no, you can't jab there. Not, not against, uh, not against good old Fox. Mr. Cloud has got that up smash on deck. F tilt into, okay, into stuff. Don't di in there, please. You get a bite up there. Man, okay. But talk about a talk about a vortex. I like it. I like it though. I'm just really enjoying the play coming out from both players. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, really falling up there. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, we're seeing uh, Layson really set up more of an offense this game than in the previous one. Yeah, matching like he's kind of just going toe for toe, blow for blow, and that's kind of how how you have to play against Inkling. But roller roller out of the corner is gonna make you feel a little bit less good, and holding the spider shot as well. So I want to think Fox can do against a uh, roller on shield as I think he can up smash the jump away that inkling players inevitably do, but soft nair confirms into just about everything. Yeah, inkling is super negative on block and Fox's up smash is like the perfect tool for punishing it. Cause like you said, even if they try to jump away like that on block, Fox is facing the right way. You can up smash and catch both on the gr staying on the ground and jumping. Fortunately, he's not. He's uh he's been landing quite exposed a lot. Like he'll be he'll be throwing out buttons as okay, yeah. There was the up smash, but it gets clanked by Foxes for a very quick up tilt. He read the recovery high, and I think oh, that's Oh, that should be game. Yeah. Man, twice. Twice in a row, in basically the same spot. He got caught with roar out of the corner, trying to put on a little bit too much pressure, throwing out uh, he would throw out F tilt a lot when he, he knew his strings were fake, to be, uh, for lack of a better phrase, where, like, he'll get, like, Nair into dash attack and then, like, not really have anything true out of it, so he'll just poke with an F-tilt to see if he can get a reset, and uh, Little Bro was having none of it, just roll, making sure that he had to be afraid of the roller in every situation, and that's, uh, that's kind of what Inkling can really make you fear, since teching and rolling away from roller only leads to more pain. <laughs> yeah, it, it's kind of funny. Sometimes